Welcome back, Patriots, to another broadcast of OATV. My name is Brandon. And I'm Megan. Let's get right into the news. There were several historic firsts on election night with this year's midterms. Massachusetts elected its first female governor, Maura Healy, Tuesday night, and the first openly lesbian governor ever elected in the country. New York, too, gave its official official election imprimatur to a woman, as did Arkansas. Maryland elected its first black governor, and in Florida, 25-year-old Democrat Maxwell Frost won his seat for Congress, becoming the first Gen Z member to be a part of the chamber. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is set to release tomorrow. The movie follows Queen Ramonda, Shuri, Mbaku, Okoye, and Dora Milaje in their fight to protect their nation from intervening world powers in the wake of King T'Challa's death. YouTube influencer Nikita Dragon left a Miami Beach hotel in handcuffs and was booked for felony battery on a police officer, misdemeanor disorderly conduct, and misdemeanor battery. Oxford Academy's annual canned food drive will be happening this week. Students can donate to their clusters with canned foods or monetary donations until today, November 10th. Let's take a look at this video from ASBs for some more information. Hey Lucas, did you know we could win an ice cream party for our cluster? No way bro, how? If you just donate to Can Food Drive, your cluster could win an ice cream party. Do you want ice cream? Ice cream for ice cream! That's right, this week from November 4th to November 10th is our annual Can Food Drive. We will be collecting boxes on November 16th, so if you have any canned foods, box cake mixes, or monetary donations, Make sure to get those donations in. If your cluster wins, you could get an ice cream party. So make sure to donate to Canned Food Drive. See you there. Please avoid packaged items such as cookies or chips. The winning cluster will be determined by the number of items in each box. Bye. Remember to donate to win an ice cream party. We want to welcome Miss Gutierrez to Oxford Academy. She'll be filling in for Mrs. Lee in attendance for the next couple of weeks. Attention all seniors. Tonight is senior movie night. Make sure to come out to see Ferris Bueller's Day Off and spend a great time with your fellow classmates. Dress warm with PJs, stuffies, and blankets as we are expecting some cool weather tonight. Don't forget to bring your IDs. Let's take a look at this video featuring some of our patriots. With passions for performing arts and business, today we will learn about how she combines these two passions. You know what? Why don't you introduce yourself? Hey everyone, my name is Mara Grebo. But I just, ever since I was young, I remember singing literally all the time, no matter how annoyed my brother would get. But my mom, once she started taking me to like these little musical theater shows Is this a in the thing? city, nothing big, but it still really pushed me into loving the performing arts. So I do like musical theater shows over the summer. And now to join choir now, it's just been something I've always loved and there was really no start. <laughs> Like everyone at Club Rush, I was bombarded with a bunch of comments about how amazing FBLA was by the people at the booth. And I joined by choice though. It just seemed really interesting to me. And especially with entrepreneurship class last year in seventh grade, I really loved that class. And Mrs. Hale is amazing. So I thought FBLA was just the perfect choice. But going into it, I really knew nothing about it. I just trusted the people that talked to me at the booth. It ended up being a great decision. So, for my speech, before I started writing it, I really knew nothing about the event. But after watching a little video of myself, I was singing Let It Go, and I think I was like four years old. I was at my aunt's house, and I just remember looking at the video, if my, you know, I was just so confident. If my confidence shifted from then to now, like if anything was different, and then I started thinking about how I, much I love the performing arts. But then I also tied that in with business because, you know, I love both. And it was just a great way to think about, you know, how I've changed from then to now and how my interests have just grown. I'm Mara Greppo from Oxford Academy. Singing an off-key version of Let It Go while dangling the microphone in mid-air during her performance stood a little girl full of hope. 
Performing for her fans, meeting her friends and family, was her favorite thing in the world. The claps, the cheers, and a couple of dollar bills sometimes, which she didn't mind, of course. Was she good at what she did? No, not yet. But did she believe in herself enough to persevere and succeed? Yes. To honor those who served, OATV is highlighting veterans in our community. I'm a Commander Francisco Alonso, and I served uh, in the U.S. Navy for 28 years. My name is Christopher Royal, and I served in the United States Marine Corps from the summer of 1988 through the winter of 1992. I, you know, after high school, I was trying to figure out, you know, should I go to college? Should I go in the military? And I saw a commercial on TV that said, be all you can be. And I didn't really have a lot of money to uh, pay for college at that time, so I thought it might be a good choice. And it certainly was uh, one of the best choices I made, uh, and I want to thank that young man for making that choice because it made all the difference in my life. I'm very proud of my uh, military career. Um, my son also joined. My son is a Navy pilot, and um, we, we, we believe in our family that uh, you do have to give back to, to, to whoever is the country that's giving you everything. So we do that from a sense of uh, duty and responsibility. It also helped me better understand the selfless sacrifice that many folks have already taken. I served in combat and I saw people die in combat and I saw young people just give everything. And then when I came back and I, I was just shocked on how people's priorities were totally different from what I had envisioned, where, you know, selfishness and uh, a sense of materialism was everywhere. And after serving, I realized that those things really don't matter. Uh, what matters is family, country. Uh, it gave me a lot of confidence because, like I said, going through, uh, you know, the career training, the all, all the all the training that the military provided, all the experiences that I had overseas, serving in Europe and serving at El Toro the Marine Corps Air Base, uh, gave me a lot of experience in dealing with all kinds of adversity uh, since then. So I was well prepared for uh, my professional life and I was well prepared for personal challenges as well. You know, even my setbacks while in the military in terms of discipline, in terms of just the, the stress of thinking I was gonna go to war, just taught me how to deal with pressure in general and face adversity head on. A uh, sense of loyalty, you have to be loyal to who you're with, uh, especially in, in a unit where people have to uh, take care of each other. And uh, it gave me a whole new perspective on why we love our country and why we owe it that we serve. Uh, you know, I am a patriot and I just want to say happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. OATV and the rest of the Oxford community would like to thank those who have served our nation. And on that note, we end today's broadcast. I'm Megan Bao. And I'm Brandon Zwong. Enjoy your three-day weekend, Patriots. See you next week on OATV. OATV.